Hi, everybody. I'm here today with Andre. You guys love his shows. Hi, um, everyone. Um, I want to thank you guys for the prayers. My cousin, Regina, who had ALS, died so quietly. Her husband was shocked she had passed at 4 a.m. this morning. I probably, depending on when the Comanche Funeral Home schedules the funeral, I'll probably be gone uh, Sunday through Wednesday, depending on when they schedule it. And then, uh, or Saturday through Wednesday. Um, what else was gonna tell you? Real quick, I get a lot of emails of people sort of aggressively telling me one person wrote and said, you know, we vote for Biden and we're in World War III. <laughs> like that one have already happened. And, but, the, you know, especially with the Gaza thing and stuff. When I read you guys and prophesize via the, the what the guides tell me, it doesn't mean I'm educated in the subject I'm talking about. But I give you what they say. Okay, so don't kill the messenger. I can only tell you when I prophesized a year before the virus and said, there's a nasty virus coming. I see everybody wearing masks. Little did we realize the Armageddon that was going to happen after that. But I just repeat what they say. You know what I'm saying? They didn't say, and look out, it's going to be hurt near the end of times. They didn't go that far. When I ask them a question, I try my best to give whatever it is they're telling me. Okay, enough with that. So, uh, any news that you uh, you have for us come here? Well, I mean, we're all watching the the end of the trial, and yeah, Trump is in really really bad territory. It's plain and simple. I mean, you can see how things are going, and as we go toward the end of the month, it peaks, which is probably when they're going to have a verdict. So it's okay. very unfriendly yeah, territory. Yeah. Well, the judge asked the, the jury if they could come back on Wednesday. And they all said no, because they all had made plans. That's normally their day off. So the judge mm -hmm. thought, but it might be even they close this all out because they're coming down to the last. That one guy is pushing Cohen on being a liar. It, that's all he's got. Okay. Mm -hmm. But don't forget, there's more than just Cohen here. Yeah, no, and Cohen, a lot of Cohen's lies were, were lies in the service of Trump. So, you know, it's it's like that. And and uh, and the thing is, the case was presented with him at the end so that there were lots and lots, well, several anyway, several important witnesses that already corroborated what he's saying now. So if you're... I think that part was one of the best. I think Pecker was fantastic. Yeah, Pecker was the, the very first one. And then they all pretty much, including the ones that were not uh, particularly helpful, they were doing it, or rather not helpful. They were not wanting to help the prosecution, like Hope Hicks, I think, was doing it because she was subpoenaed. But she still corroborated, you know, and... and yeah, she wasn't going to lie. Verified, yeah. So all of that is not good news for Trump, especially when you see where the planets are. They're not in a good place. You know, the Mars and Aries, where it's going through now and into the end of the month, is not a good place. You already saw that uh, the week of Stormy Daniels, that was the major trigger. Then now it's it, it's in this in-between zone, but it's not a friendly zone. And then it peaks at the end of the month in a really bad way. So if this thing aligns itself toward, uh, you know, the judgment, you know, the jury coming up with a verdict, which I really doubt would go into June. It doesn't oh, no. seem doesn't it, seem like that to me. They could even turn around and come back, and then he goes to file uh, to, to challenge it, and maybe he's turned down at the end of the month. Maybe that's part of it. But he's upset, as you said. Yeah, yeah, he's upset. The other thing is that he's been sleeping a lot, and then he says, "Well, it's because I'm." my eyes are closed and I'm, I'm pondering what's going on. I'm very skeptical about that because Trump is all about the look, you know, the the perception, and he knows that's not a good look. And especially because it ends up in the in these depictions, you know, we get all these uh, artists' drawings and 
I've seen a couple now with his head tilted back and his mouth open, which of course is really ironic too in that he's been calling Biden Sleepy Joe. I know. But, but this is the way he always, you know, he, he's like a walking karma machine. The things he says about other people, he always ends up doing himself in some right. way, right? right. So uh, I'm suspicious though that there may not, this may not be the, um, the tell about his health declining, you know, because when someone starts to sleep out of turn like that and can't help themselves, you start to get a little suspicious about something going on that maybe, you know, uh, uh, almost like forecasting or, or you know, uh, leading to something uh, n not too long from now. You know? Because he doesn't want to be <clears throat> what he claims that Biden is. He doesn't want that look. Yeah, no, but he's obviously he can't help himself because, uh, you know, normally, if you're if you're half awake, no pun intended, then once you are caught once, you would try to avoid it every single time. But it seems to be happening every single time. You know, right. so uh, yeah, it's not a but good thing. Did you take a look see at June twenty seventh for the first debate? Do you think there'll be a debate, or do you think he'll exit? Well, that territory is not friendly at all. The for him, the end of June and the beginning of July. So you would really count from mid-June to mid-July, very unfriendly. So no, uh, it's not good. If he cuts out now, then he's gonna look bad, right? Because he's the one, you know, he's been, he walked, he talked himself into this. He kept taunting Biden about, I'll debate you anytime, any place. So then Biden said, okay, let's do let's it. Do it. But he set the conditions, which are not, good conditions for Trump. Trump needs needs an audience so he can say outrageous things. Uh, Biden said no audience and the mic gets cut off, which I've always thought in any debate, you know, I would give the participants a clock and I would say, there's your clock. You can see it going down. You get two minutes. When it gets to zero, your mic is cut off, right? And if that doesn't work, we'll have to put a muzzle on you, you know, but whatever. I mean, but the main that, point like is... That Vedic or whatever that guy was running for president. Remember yeah. those debates? They just kept... Uh, well, excuse me, no. They would tell the, the people doing the show to hold on. But the people doing the show needs to make firm because he'll just keep rattling. Oh, of course, of course. And and, and so uh, he's created this this situation... Biden, I think, took advantage smartly, and the territory is not friendly. It just is not friendly, you know, the, the, for the end of June. You know, in fact, that might be the least of his worries with the energy that is there at the end of June. But I originally had thought maybe this trial with Stormy would get extended into the end of June. That's looking really unlikely, right? So then I'm wondering, well, what else can be coming down, you know, on, on, on him? Uh, but on all levels, health, uh, possibly the Jack Smith trial, because that's also in the Supreme Court, is likely to, you know, they're kind of delaying, right? But it's the end of June when they have their final statement right. at the end of their term. Right. And that, I think he's hoping for a good outcome, but probably not, you know, in some sense. I mean, I don't know. That, they'll probably help him a bit, but not overall. So... Bottom line, that's not good territory right. at all, you know, at the end of June. No. Yeah. And then the next one, September 10th. September 10th, similar. I mean, a little different, but I, I, the way I'm doing it now is I'm trying to work like in 30 day blocks to see what comes up. Because to give you another example, the both conventions look really choppy, you know, the two, yeah, like very prone to un unexpected shocking things happening both in the Republican convention and in the Democratic convention. So, you know, I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> not going to too far out. You know, I, I want to see what happens in July. They, July is the, the Republican convention, you know, so that's the first thing. And like, all, you know, always with these things, they depend a lot on what happened the previous two weeks and so forth, especially if you get really big developments. You know? Right, right. Yeah. So um, Martha wants to know, what percentage does our ascendant play in our astrological makeup? 
I'm Virgo Sun, Aquarius ascent, Ascended. Thank you. Uh, no, the Ascendant, I don't know that you can assign a percentage, but the Ascendant is super important because it's the moment of birth. So it's where the Earth is crossing the East at the precise moment. So the sign says a lot about your personality and all of that. But then it's a point that you can study in minute detail throughout your life. And it's a super important point because it progresses, you know, and does things. Right. So it's it's that's why the, having a birth time is really important. It's it's like gold, you know, when you have a I know. precise you, time. You've always said, you know, unless you have a birth time, it's very hard. Well, I mean, you look. I'm I I have the, some people like Michael Cohen. I don't have a birth time, so then I can try to guess. But that's a very detailed. Hard, you know, yeah. it takes a long time. Although I can, I'm nearly sure that Cohen is born from morning onward and not before because the way things happened for him in 2018 when it all collapsed on him he he's either moon in Sagittarius or moon in Capricorn I'm pretty sure it's moon in Capricorn because of the timing in 2018 plus the fact that that early moon in Capricorn is very unfriendly to Trump it's the kind of thing where a, a servant or a, an underling turns into a major enemy which is exactly what's happened with, with wow. Cohen, you know, he's become this total thorn on his side because he knows what, you know, he knows where the bodies are buried. He's a good communicator and he's very aggressive. M Michael Cohen, you know, I don't know if he's heard some of those things where the, the guy, the, uh, the lawyer, um, Todd Blanche or Blanche, yeah. his name is Blanche. Anyway, he was saying, oh, you said this about me, some curse thing and, and uh, Cohen just said, yeah, that sounds like it would have been me. <laughs> Yeah, they said he's very monotone. He's very. Yeah, he's keeping it. You know, he, he's a lawyer. You got to remember, he's a lawyer, so he knows what to do. But he's the been... other thing is, they can blow smoke on it, do everything they want to do with him, as far as him being a liar, which he was. He's an attorney. No, I'm just kidding. But the bottom line is, Trump signed the checks. Yeah, of course, of course. It's 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 on. It's it's really hard. You have to be a real knucklehead or totally biased. And remember, it's New York too. So New York, New York doesn't really like Trump. So most people that end up on any jury uh, are not going to like him. And even if there were someone with some tilt in some direction, the other eleven are going to put a lot of pressure on that person if they say, "Well, what's your? Where's the doubt here?" You know, because you can see the 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 evidence. But all of that. All of that is on the rational world level. Then you've got the astrology. The astrology is no good at all. No good at all for this. Right. You know? right. For him, for Trump, you know, to right. to do well. By the way, that's the other thing. Think about it, right? He would not debate any of the Republicans. He refused because he knew I've got a lead. Why is he debating Biden? Because I'm telling you that his campaign knows things are not going as well as he says they're going. He keeps saying, I'm winning in all the polls. This is a done deal and so forth. Well, then why are you debating? That's risky, right? But also, why are they letting him debate? Because he's not well mentally. Well, yeah, that's true. That's totally true. But maybe, you know, when you're behind, when you know that the, that the situation isn't as good, that's when you want to debate. Biden also knows that if you put Trump on camera, it's not good for Trump. It's not good for the Republican Party. That's the whole point is up to now. He's mostly in the background for the people that are really into it. But a lot of people aren't paying attention. This is, you know, around now and into the fall when people really pay attention. And yeah, I mean, he's saying crazy things. The, the other day on a, in a rally, he talked about Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. What, what can, guy? Oh, yeah. The late Hannibal Lecter. What is that about? You couldn't even tell. He kind of went off on a thing, you know, he's and then he'll have moments when something is wrong. He gets that aphasia thing where he trails off and yeah. and speaks and speaks in tongues and doesn't make any sense, you know. So uh, well, that he, is not going to elicit said, confidence. He said he beat Obama. He beat Obama. He said Nancy Pelosi was, uh, you know, uh, Nikki Haley. He's made some big mistakes. That's the other thing, too just realize it's pretty clear Trump's 
Trump in 2016 was much sharper than he is today. Again, another irony because he keeps pounding on Biden yes. being too old. Biden, if you see him in a situation where he has to perform, he does well because his mind is still all there. He may not be as, as sharp right. a communicator as he once was. That's true. But he's still better than Trump considerably. And you're going to see it. You're going yeah, to see and it. And everybody on the news is saying he's not the Trump of 2016. He's not the no. Trump of 2020. No. He's gone straight down the hill. No, he's, which, which is, this is the thing that when you see health aspects in a chart, you know, everyone is always looking when they leave me comments where they say, well, you said that he would have already, no, no, what I'm saying is he's in the zone, right? So when you're in the, in the zone, you decline. Maybe you just keel over, maybe you don't. That's not the point. The point is you decline. His health has been declining. It's pretty clear, right? Pretty but clear. the fact that he's walking around and still doing things, it makes it appear like he's well, but he's falling asleep in court and he's talking like he's crazy when he's, in, when he's in rallies. And by crazy, I mean that not just that he says crazy things, he often says nonsensical things. He goes off and he mutters and he mumbles, loses his train of thought. These are not good things. You know, normally you, you want know, to be really sharp. He couldn't pay Melania any amount of money to come. That would have been a good thing for her to come. Yeah, no, I know, but uh, no, or well, I mean, yeah, he for that he needed, you know, Ramas Marmi and all the, uh, you know. Oh, you know who's there today? Lauren Boebert, Matt Gates. Sure. Well, there you oh, go. Oh my God. When those are your supporters, you know you're in trouble. You know, plain and simple. So. Yeah. Yeah. And and, they, and Matt Gates said, stand, stand by and stand something, Mr. President. It was like, oh, get the hell out of here. Yeah, that that's what the Proud Boys said, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So listen, um, someone sent me a text this morning and told me that uh Biden used the executive privilege and uh refused to allow the DOJ at CAD Merrick Garland to send those videos that they're trying to impeach him on. Yeah, I, and I think it's because I think you reach a point where in this uh, battle, the Democrats are not perfect. You will see certain points and so forth where they, you know, they play to what they need to do. But the Republicans are outrageous. They'll take anything. That if you give them the audio, they're going to cut pieces and put in just the ones that they like and create a narrative. And so Biden is saying, I'm not going to let you do the, create a narrative. And yeah, I think it's correct. And, yeah. you know, let, let them complain all they like, right? Oh, I mean, you know, they're going through just like they were so upset that the Senate wouldn't look at, uh, wouldn't look at the impeachment of, um, who were they trying to impeach? Somebody. Oh, Mallorca's the, uh, the, yeah. the, yeah. Waste of yeah. damn time. Yeah, of course. Of course. So, uh, yeah, so we did marry. Now, um, I would like to know if there's a particular, if there's a particular health house in a chart and what you should watch out for in that house. Well, there, there's more than one, but the, the key polarity health axis is this houses six and 12 are the two health houses. And then the eighth house, that's where you go get surgery it's a really complicated house that's by the way where all the planets are in trump's chart like the key planet saturn is there it's where stormy's planets are you put planets in there it's not good let's just put it that way but it's especially not good if your condition is declining because that's a death house the other two though are health six and twelve they'll depend on a person's chart like in your case they're virgo pisces because you're libra rising but if a person is, say, Aquarius rising, then it would be Capricorn Cancer. That's uh, okay. th uh, that's uh, Trump is Leo rising, so he's also Cancer Capricorn along that axis. So it depends on the person's ascendant. That's where you need to know the ascendant oh, in yeah. order to know what those houses are. Do you have any idea how soon Ohio can get rid of J.D. Vance and Jim Jordan? Well, mm. astrologically, I don't know if you look, but you got to vote them out. Yeah, I, I don't, uh, from what I understand, first of all, isn't if J.D. Vance is in the Senate, he's not going anywhere because he's not up for re-election or he's not up oh, for, not it's a six-year okay. term. So when you get elected to the Senate, you get a long, long track. And so, no, and Jordan, Jordan is in a, 
every two years, but do you feel like he's going to, I think he's going to get back in. I don't think Jordan is. Yeah, I, I'm not feeling exiting. No. But he's no. going to be a has-been. Nobody will care what he, you know, he will be in trouble when they turn around after January 6th. And and uh, Jack is going to start plugging in the people who were part of the insurrection. Yeah, th there are a lot of those, a lot of those people that you see uh, it going into 2025 and 2026 the people that are have cardinal energy the saturn is the saturn is the planet that puts pressure people like elon musk you know he's running around now becoming more and more right wing saturn is the planet that you know uh, stops you a matter of fact uh, even as we speak saturn is very active in trump's chart as well and that's why he had a gag order. It's the planet that stops you, right? So then he's got to find other ways to get the message out and everything. But the more it's around, the more you get blocked. And a lot of these people, they're, they're caught by that 25, 26 period, you know, but it can seem like right now, you know, they're kind of free floating. Just wait, give it a bit of time. Now, I know you've got, I don't know if about, if it, about Putin, you got a chart on Putin, or I don't know about Russia. How's it looking now? You know, they were really hitting the Ukraine hard. Now, let me tell you my psychic hit. Mm -hmm. My psychic hit was that Putin is giving it all, everything he's got. And the reason he switched that big wig to his person, a uh, financial person, is he's run out of money. And he needs mm -hmm. a financial person to figure out, okay, now where are we going to save money or get more money? But I felt, this is my impression, Ukraine, boom, 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 boom. I just saw missile after missile after missile hitting Russia. So what did you see? Well, what I noticed, there's a couple of things. One is that Russia is on this pattern where the Saturn-Neptune conjunctions every 36 years foretell, or well, in this case, they don't foretell, they already happened. So that's why I'm looking at the past to look into the one that's coming up. There's one coming up next year and the year after because the conjunction happens twice because they're forward retrograde. It's not just one. So 25 and 26 are the conjunction, right? You look back, 1917, Russian Revolution, 1952 is when Stalin died. So it's a big change in the, in the uh, order. In 1988, Russia fell apart, you know, and became a new country. They're about to get a new one. And uh, I don't feel Russia is well positioned to come out of this the way they want, you know, the way Putin thinks, you know, Putin is, has this idea, new empire and all this. I don't see that at all, right? Because the airy cycle is not friendly to Putin, very unfriendly. Right. So that's the first thing, even though right now it looks a little choppy, right? But I'm curious to see that in June, it, June is a very good month for Zelensky. So probably things are looking up. You know, as we go into mid-June, he's getting some really good news in there. That's one thing. And then I notice, this is really suspicious that, uh, and by the way, he, his chart has a time that he gave. So probably it's correct, Zelensky. Zelensky, right? fantastic. Yeah. So he looks really happy in November. I wonder why. <laughs> Yeah. I wonder why, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That makes exactly. total sense. Yeah, because for Zelensky, for Zelensky, uh, Trump winning would be devastating because Trump would Did you just almost, call it. Yeah, because he and he also told Putin, "Take what you want." Yeah, of course. No, he's, I think I think Trump the absolute most that he would do for Ukraine is he'd say, "Well, Russia should have a third of it." You know, we're, we're going to give them. A whole bunch of land because really they're all Russian and that'll bring in peace and you know all that all that stuff. So it would not be good. It would no. not be good for Zelensky. No. Uh, hi, Andre and Linda. My question is about the whole house system. Is the degree on the ascent the same in the whole house system and the placidus house system? Thank you. No you idea what that means. Yeah, the degree is the same. The degree of the ascendant is the same in all systems, all of them. The difference is how you count what people call houses, right? The, the order, uh, the whole sign system says whatever rises is one. So like in your case, you're uh, uh, Libra rising. Anything in Libra rises. That's how the whole sign system 
reads it, right? But in the other system, sometimes they'll say, no, if, if 20 degrees Libra rises and you have a planet at five degrees Libra, that's in the 12th house. No, in the whole sign, it's all one. And then the previous sign is 12. The one before that is 11. It's just a different way to order the houses. And I say that it's the best system, the whole sign system to give you the most accurate reflection of the person's psychology and the way the cycles are unfolding. That's been my experience through, I don't know, 40 years. But like I've used the whole sign system for about 35 years, maybe in that range. Wow. You know, yeah. Pardon? You know, by the way, I'm not alone, just in case people are wondering, this is not unusual. Lots and lots of astrologers use the whole sign system, but there are a number that use the other system. And then the more popular thing you see out there is Placidus. That's the way, you know, in a lot of the, um, uh, you know, online places, they'll put Placidus as the default. Um, actually, Susie said, how, how do solar flares affect Virgo? I don't think that has anything mm, to do with it. I, solar, flare, solar flares, you know, like when we had the Aurora Borealis, if someone brings me some evidence, I'm always waiting for something that says, look, see, there was a, a Aurora Borealis and then this happened. I, I don't have any, any yeah. data at all to work with that, you know. Martha says, would you please explain what intercepted houses are and how do they affect the natal chart? The inter intercepted houses are part of things like the Placida system because you get these big houses and small houses. I don't use any of that. So intercepted to me, intercepted is a made up story that someone came up with. I don't trust it. I don't like it. Never did. That's the end of the story for me. You know, um, Susan says, my natal sun is one degree Aquarius. My ascended is 26 degrees cancer moon, 19 degrees moon 19 degrees libra jupiter one degree libra i guess she's given her us her whole chart yeah no i mean the only thing i'll say about that is first of all uh and this is a message to everyone if you want to you, you you either study your own chart or piece by piece reading, call or you. you have to get someone to explain it to you because you know the, like there are a lot of factors and a lot of it is that you then bring in your intuition you know there's a sense of psychic energy there too in the astrology you're looking at it and okay, where, what is this person trying to do and so forth? So then you read it. But the one thing I'll say about that chart is if you're one degree Aquarius, Pluto is right on top of you right now. So there is major change happening in your life and in your character. And there, there's a something really big taking place at the moment around leaving the past behind and taking on a new, new direction. That's what Pluto will do. So that's true for sure. Then you got to calibrate it see where it is in the chart and also find out the story. It's super important to know what's this person doing? Where are they going? That's how the astrology is really useful, right? If you just try to read it as a blank thing, uh, you know, you can say things, but they won't be as useful. You know, plain and simple. Yeah. Um, what is Israel astrology in relation to Netanyahu's downfall? Well, Israel, the, the chart for Israel is unsurprisingly very unstable and choppy right now. And Netanyahu, I feel like he's going to have a really hard time getting through the end of the year because the end yeah. of the year, that last uh, Pluto period, because Pluto does this little stint in Capricorn in the fall and into early winter before it finally enters Aquarius for good, so it, where it'll be for the next 20 years. That's very unfriendly to him. So to me, it feels like Israel... Is, continues to be unstable and choppy for a while, but uh, Netanyahu is going to take the hit at some point. That's my feeling. What do you feel? I felt him. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I saw him really sweaty, too. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On June 3rd, there will be a special alignment of planets. What will it mean to Donald Trump since Andre mentioned June being very intense? What, what's the special? Uh, come June people. 3rd, they said, will be a special alignment of planets. Uh, let me see what they might be referring to here. Uh, what's the special alignment on June 3rd, though? They I don't see. I, I don't see. Well, Mercury's conjunct Jupiter. Uh, let's just put it this way. Early June is not friendly to Trump. It's okay. just not friendly to Trump. Not friendly. In fact, 
In fact, late May, early June is especially choppy because it Mars is hitting a part of his chart he doesn't like, right? And when that happens, what I've seen in the past, because I've tracked this guy's chart for years, is at minimum you see him enraged, you know, throwing things, getting angry. And you know, you know why? It's because something will be happening that he doesn't like, right? That's okay. the logic. Uh, Leah said, holy moly, what's the outlook for the 18th of this month? All the planets are smooshed around Aries. They're not. They're uh, not? Uh, well, if someone says that, then they're probably, uh, let's see. Okay, so they say that because they're using the Vedic system, where okay. they're using constellational. The planets are in Taurus. In, in the way I read charts, I use the tropical system. So, okay. but then if you want to say, well, what about just planets being, being clustered together, then it depends on what they're doing to your chart, right? And the other thing is they're not, these planet clusters, they're not, uh, uh, the way they connect to the US chart, it's not nearly as complicated as back in the pandemic when they were clustered. That was a, and that was even worldwide back in the pandemic, there was a cluster in Capricorn. These are clustered in Taurus. If you're a Taurus, it's great. You know, right now, if you're a Taurus, especially someone with late Taurus energy or late Capricorn or late Virgo, the three Earth signs, these, cl this cluster is really good because they're all on Earth, you know, sending strong energy. But for some people, they're not as good, like Leo's a little less, you know. But again, this is very general. You know, people are always trying to do this with astrology, and then you get very broad answers. You know, you've got to exactly. look at individual charts. Yeah. So Mike Johnson's progressed sun is in Aries, opposite his natal Pluto, which is transit, transit, transiting Pluto sextile trans, this opposition. Will transiting Pluto help him weather his predicament or exaggerate his predicament? His birthday is one thirty seventy two. Yeah, I, I've looked at his, and uh, I think he. Remember, you and I talked about this, and the way this guy turned out, at least as far as the legislation, you know, in Congress, he made a a move toward the center, even though now. He's over there in court. I mean, it's so remarkable, this this Bible thumper, because he was asked and he's saying, I just follow the Bible. Well, if you follow the Bible, why are you supporting someone who, you know, is involved with a porn star? It's very strange, right? So on the level of politics, he's like all the other ones. He's a scoundrel. He was part of the insurrection and all that. But as far as legislation, he made that move. From what I understand, there's not going to be much more legislation between now and the election. So I think he's just bought himself a ticket as far as November in terms of staying in power. No, you know, so. And yeah. also that he, uh, uh, they're not going to be able to uh, impeach uh, Merrick Garland. No, well, you can't. Oh, you can't. And, and you know, they're going to complain that Biden overstepped his role and how dare he. How about, uh, uh, uh orange turd of course of course you know he yeah. overstepped he had his uh uh attorney general step in and interrupt the Mueller report and all that stuff anyway enough let me get off the platform i cannot yeah. i cannot hardly handle katie tour she is so pro-trump <laughs> but Katie Tour, no, really? I'm not, yeah, I'm not going to wish any bad on her. But are, are you talking? Are we talking about the same Katie Tour, the one on MSNBC? Yes. Really? She, she's pro. You think she's, she's pro Trump? Well, the polls show that Trump's going to be the new president. Um, the polls don't show that. Okay, here, here's oh, the thing. She said that. Well, it's not true. Uh, the polls. If you if you want to know what the polls say, go to Real Clear Politics and see the average of the polls because you get. A wide variety and there was a lot of controversy about those polls in the last week when the new york times put up these polls where he had these huge uh, trump had huge leads in nevada and then he had in wisconsin and things like that but the the data was really choppy and there were other polls that were not like that at all right oh. so uh you've got to be careful with polls and look at averages right okay. and yeah, and I, Hillary Clinton was going to win. 
Paul said that Mick Romney was going to win. Exactly. Yeah. No. Exactly. And and remember, one of the things that I always recommend people do is track the betting where people are putting their money. Oh, you told me about and, that. Yeah, and notice that Trump was ahead in the betting late last year and into early this year, but now Biden is a little bit ahead. And that's a little strange because you have to ask yourself, what do these people know that is causing this monetary shift, right? So uh, track it carefully, but yeah, polls, no. And, and also they become way more significant July, August, September, October, way more than they are now because we're, it's still early. People haven't seen the candidates, you know, because a lot of the voters, they're not following this really closely. You and I are following it pretty closely, and some yeah. people do that, people on TV, but not the a lot of the people that vote, right? So, right. Right. yeah, you got to give it time. Hey, uh, why are the orca whales ramming the overturn and overturning yachts? That wouldn't be an astrological question, but I would <laughs> give my feeling on it. It says, I have a feeling about this, but I'd like to hear your answer. My feeling is that there were several orca whales that were killed accidentally or whatever by a yacht and they've got this focus on overturning these yachts to get rid of the challenge. That's my feeling. Yeah, well, uh, sure, sure. I mean, they have, they're, they've got good brains and they have memory. And they're working on it as a team. Yeah. So, yeah overturn them so they are looking at them as the enemy i mean one thing that one thing that's curious is that the saturn cycle is in pisces during these years and last year there was that uh submersible that went down in yeah June, i remember that yeah right on the saturn station so the idea of of ocean patterns you know things to do with because that the pisces and the ocean go really well together so, uh, but it's still, you know, it's still a, you know, pretty big generalization around it, but powerful fish, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Linda and Andre, for some time now, I've been getting that something major is happening between June 6th and June 20th. Uh, sure, it's entirely sure. possible. I mean, we're, we're in a, a, we're in choppy territory all the way through the election. Uh, so end of June, major stations that are that are going to correlate with important things. But end of June means mid June to mid July. That already takes in what what this person is saying because mid June is the start of that point. Then there is the Republican convention mid July. That's a choppy period because of the uh, patterns. Then Mars, Uranus, you know, planets that bring about shocking unexpected things and then the democratic convention is on a full moon with uranus energy that's another thing where unexpected things could happen so yes from here to the election pretty much you can expect it to be so and the election itself it's also likely to produce problems because of because of the way the republicans are approaching it you know they're no longer republican party that's no longer interested in in just having the match and seeing who wins, they're constantly warning about voter fraud because they know they're behind. That's the truth yeah, of it. You know? That's it. Yeah. Uh, have you ever taken a look see at Rick Scott? No, him I haven't looked at. And Rick Scott, this is the... For later. He's for, a senator from Florida. For he, he's a horrible, horrible or, senator. Or horrible somebody's person. asking if he'll lose against Democrat Debbie Powell's. I'll look later on that. Um... I'll look, uh, let me look up Rick Scott and Debbie Powell and send it to you. Maybe next time we talk. Mm -hmm. Just a general birthday and you can take a look, see who has the best chance of win winning. Okay. Man, you have to realize that that uh, Florida, Florida is pretty hostile. So uh, unless, and there's where, there's where you see the polls there, especially average polls. If you track that race, you would want the the opponent to be at most within five points. If they're not in there, they're probably going to lose. You know, that's the way I would look at it in Florida, because Florida Florida is is uh, it's, it's pretty hostile. Although they do have those really bad, 
they made those terrible laws around women, they made those terrible rules. So now it's more in play than before. But I would still say that Arizona and North Carolina are more, and Georgia are more dangerous as a loss for the Republicans with those, uh, those rules, those anti-abortion rules. Florida feels the most complicated, one of the most complicated, you know. Yeah, well, um, and also he's not going to allow people to get a drink of water in the 114 degree heat. That's Georgia, right? That's Florida. Florida too. Well, wow. okay. The well. state just signed it, and some other place just signed a thing. I think it was Kentucky or Alabama. Even if you have a medical condition, it's illegal to wear a mask in a group setting. They're it's, crazy. It, it, it's pretty crazy. I mean, it's uh, yeah, it's pretty, it's just pretty crazy. That's all I can say. It's so, it's wow. so inhuman and so. I mean, it, it just it tests your 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 common sense, you know, it, it's because it's so blatant what they're trying to do. But the thing is, those things tend never to work, right? Because whenever they, they say, well, we're going to make make it harder for you to vote, people then get angry and they make sure that they vote. So sure, I mean, keep yeah. trying, but go you know. for it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So thank you. Um, we've pretty much gone through the ones that I know you can answer certain ones or personal readings you can't do. No, they, with that, it's, it's, I mean, I know that I appreciate the questions and everything, and you can say some interesting things, but even when you say something like what I said about the Pluto and that, the person has to fill in a lot of those blanks because it depends where they are. You know, there's no, no fixed thing. Like, for instance, if you get a, a difficult cycle in your chart, right? And then you tell me, and I look and say, oh, look at all these difficult, and then you tell me that you are fighting in the war in Ukraine, I would say, well, that's probably pretty dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because that's how they express. But if it, if you're in your own house and your life is relatively stable, a lot of that can be just psychological pressure that you're going through where you don't feel as good and you're sorting through to try to get to the other side. So you got to get the exact story. That's the key you know, in order to do it well. So listen, um, I'll put your contact in this video. Mm -hmm. And also, I don't know, I probably won't hook up with you next week because of the funeral. Sure. Okay. I have to fly to Oklahoma, but probably at the next week, I'll let you let you know when I come back. Yeah, and by then it's probably by the time you come back, it'll probably be. We might uh, have all kinds of stuff to talk. Red about. hot, yeah, no, because the the two weeks from now, that place where Mars is is very, definitely very hostile to the to the um, you know to Trump's uh, chart, and it, it's also the way you know too is that it makes angles to the American chart that raised the temperature too. Because that, that's what tends to happen is you see these people that are become the leaders of countries, they unsurprisingly have links to the to the uh, American chart. Otherwise, the public wouldn't vibe with them, right? Right. Yeah. All right, my friend. All right. Bye, Thank everyone. Thank you so much.